Let's talk about Irish immigration. First, quickly, Irish history. Ireland, over there on the left side of the map, had a long history of oppression, a long history of being ruled and controlled by Great Britain. This is a modern map, but for most of Irish history, Ireland was part of Great Britain, was controlled by Great Britain, but didn't like being part of Great Britain. In the 1840s, a lot of people left Ireland and started coming to the United States. They left as a result, most of them, as a result of what we see here in this picture. And that is a blight or a disease in the potato crop. Potatoes were the main source of food for people living in Ireland, especially the poor. The potatoes were going bad at an alarming rate. And as a result, there wasn't much food in Ireland. So many people left Ireland and started coming to the United States in the 1840s. These are people in poverty. These are people suffering. These are people looking for a way out that they come to the United States. Most of them settled in the cities because they didn't have enough money to buy land elsewhere and go become a farmer. They settled in the cities. They worked in factories, factory jobs that didn't require an education. This means that they are competing with other Americans for jobs in those cities. They are extremely poor compared to other people in America at this time. And as a result of that poverty, they are oftentimes willing to work for much, much less. Employers like railroad builders were willing and able to pay Irish workers a lot less money and maybe lay off or fire American-born workers. The Irish because of that poverty, are going to live in the slums in the cities. They're going to live in neighborhoods um, that we think of as high-poverty neighborhoods. And just like high-poverty neighborhoods today, you see a high amount of crime in those areas. You see a high amount of disease. There's prostitution. There's alcohol abuse. There's all the problems that we associate with poverty today. They were afflicting the Irish people in these poor neighborhoods in the mid-1800s. Another reason the Irish were disliked is that the Irish were overwhelmingly Catholic. And at this time, most Americans were Protestants. And most Americans were worried that Catholics could not be trusted to be good and loyal Americans because they were worried that Catholics would be more loyal to the Pope the head of the Catholic Church in Rome, than loyal to the U.S. government. And really, to this day, we've only had one Catholic president. In this time of strong anti-Irish, anti-immigrant feelings, a group known as the Know Nothing Party emerges and becomes a powerful political party just for about eight years in the late 1840s and 1850s, mainly based on the idea of limiting or restricting immigration, especially Irish immigration.